So I wanted to continue on a little bit about uh, this, what we were kind of doing in the last, um, the the last video where we had the box fall and we can move and collide with the floor and kind of fall off. So I wanted to continue with that, and I wanted to start by making a player class. So let's go ahead and create a new file called player.js, and let's open it up. And first of all, we're going to have to go back into the index.html and make sure we include that with the framework. So let's duplicate that and just say player.js. Uh, it must be after the framework. And you might even want to put it uh, down here, actually, above the main.js. There is ways of calling this uh, inside of the main.js. But we'll get into that stuff some other time. It's not that important. So let's go back into our player. Uh, inside of main, actually, let's grab uh, our attributes of our player. Let's look at what we have here. Uh, we have a rectangle. We have gravity. Uh, we have, and we have an update, and we have a draw. So let's go over here and let's start by making our uh, function update. Actually, let's make our uh, Let's call it player equals function, and let's say this dot update is equal to function, and this dot draw is equal to function, and this one takes in a CTX, so it takes in context, and let's go up here to uh, the to make the rectangle. So let's say this dot rect equals new rectangle and it's going to be uh, let's just put 0 0 and let's put 25 25 now 20 20 to keep our last uh, example going correctly and down inside the the draw let's say rect uh, yes so we say rect dot draw ctx and we pass the context into there so let's go back into our main and let's copy all of this player stuff here at the top first. Let's copy that and paste it into our update over here. Um, and then we don't need this. Oh, we didn't set our player color to blue. Let's go back over here and let's say this dot uh, rect dot color dot r is equal to zero. This dot rect dot color dot g is equal to zero. Um, and now instead of our update, let's make sure we do, uh, well, actually we got to create a player, don't we? Um, so here instead of the main, uh, let's do this above floor. Let's say var player is equal, player is equal to new player. And down here in the update, let's say player dot update. And let's down here instead of, uh, well, this pretty much works, player.draw. That works because we just made that function anyways. So let's uh, press F5, uh, F5, sorry, I think I'm in Visual Studio or something. So let's go back, refresh over here, and see if we get something. Right now, we're not getting anything. Let's check our errors, yikes. I don't know what all those errors were about. Yeah, it's uh, for the drawing portion, it looks like. So uh, let's go back and look at our player and see what we left out. Well, looking at this, I can tell we didn't we left out gravity first of all. So, uh, but we have gravity here. Let's just bring this into the player. I'm not sure if this is causing the problem, but we'll find out. This dot gravity is equal to three, and let's make sure we say this. Also, this player stuff we don't want player here. We want rect. That's probably what's causing it. Um, let's check it. No, no, still, still have, uh, still have errors. So let's go back here. So we gotta remember to put this. I've been programming in a lot of different languages lately. So let's put this in here for each one of these rects. Let's check it out. There we go. There he is. He's just not colliding with the ground. But that's okay we need to work with it. So let's go back over to main 
And right here is why we're having issues. We're just saying player.y, blah, blah, blah. So we, we first of all want to pass in the player.rect into there. And then we want to say the player.rect here. But rather than saying player.rect and all that stuff, let's create a function instead of here. They're saying this.setPosition is equal to function. And it's going to take in an x and a y. Then we just say rect or this this dot rect dot x is equal to x this dot rect dot y is equal to y so now we come down here and we will just say player dot set position and we're gonna pass in this for the y and we're going to pass in well we would have to pass in player dot uh, rect dot x in the first one but we don't really want to do that so um, let's just say if x is not equal yeah is not equal to null then let's set it and if y is not equal to null then we'll set that one and we'll just pass null in for the first one so that means nothing will happen to it let's check it uh, something's happening he's hitting it and disappearing interesting means that we are setting his position and he's teleporting somewhere um, so let's figure out what that is so I see the problem <laughs> player dot height so uh, a lot of transferring stuff you're gonna have a lot of errors whenever you're just trying to do it quickly so let's put mod in here and if mod if mod is true uh, we're gonna do something different we're gonna say if mod is equal to null or not mod there and what mods gonna means is modify so modify being that we adjust it by a certain amount rather than setting it to that amount so otherwise if mod is true we want to say if x is not equal to null then this dot rect dot x plus equals x and then if y is not equal to null this dot rect dot y plus equals y so let's go back and rather than passing in this stuff let's just say the floor y minus the player dot rect dot height so now there we go fantastic we got him going on there and he's uh, he's running and it's working just like it did before which is great so now uh, it's a great thing because now we have separated the player into his own class so that we can manipulate the player class in here and have a lot less code instead of our main and uh, so we have more object-oriented programming that's the goal that's what gets us jobs so uh, yes that's a quick conversion into the player class